Hey, old boar here. I thought I'd show you how to make your own custom map for City Skylines 2. So the first thing you want to do is to come to this website, which I'm going to leave in the description of the video. You're going to click anywhere that you want to on the world. You can zoom out, spin the world around. You can click over here on France if you like. United Kingdom, Asia, Africa. But I have clicked my hand on Helena, Montana. Just a nice little area that's got some mountains around it. Nice buildable area. Now, these are the 529 tiles that you can unlock with the new mod. This is your buildable area. And this, I believe, is your starting square. So, first thing that you want to do is come over to your configuration. You're going to need an access token from Mapbox. Mapbox you can see down here in the left hand corner, this is the site you're getting it from. It doesn't cost you anything, the account is free, but you do have to put in your credit card. So I've decided that if you don't really want to put your credit card into Mapbox and you would like one of these height maps to build your own custom map, join my channel, support me, help me grow, and I'll get your height map for you. If you just really don't want to put in your credit card. Over here on Mapbox, you can see that I have an account and I have a public token that I got over three years ago. I've never been billed. All right, so we clicked here to select our area. And now we want to click this little icon here, download PNG height map. It's going to spin until the two files are downloaded. Now I like to get another image and that's called street maps. Now we want the image and you want to select streets. It's going to download your streets so that you can actually lay out the roads like the real map. I also like to get another one, which is the satellite imagery. That's going to download as well. So let's come to our downloads folder. And you'll see that we have four files. The world map is outside of the buildable area. This is your longitude and latitude. This is the map image for streets. And this is the map image for satellite. So where do we put those? Come over to C. Users. Your user. App data, local low, colossal order, city skylines. You're going to have to create a directory called height maps. That's where you want to put these two files. So we're going to select these two files. We're going to cut them and we're going to paste them in the height maps folder. You can see that I already have some height maps in here of some maps that I've been testing. So now we have the world map with our longitude and latitude and the height map inside of our height maps folder. Now you want to put inside of the overlays folder, your satellite imagery and your streets. We're going to get those out of the downloads folder as well. Got two of those left. Just cut them out. Come down to overlays and paste them in and see we have our streets. This is our satellite imagery of Helena, Montana. So now we're going to open up city skylines too and get into the editor. Once you're in city skylines too, you want to wait until all of these things load. Now we want to go into the editor. I happen to have the Volturia map theme installed and it's using that. So yours might look a little bit different. Now we want to click on modify terrain and import height map. So we're going to import the height map, which is the one that has the longitude and latitude. Go ahead and click load 
And now we're going to import the world map that has the longitude and latitude. So these are the mountains around Helena, Montana. Use some little water features. Now, I have a mod called Image Overlay. And if you look here, I have a few of these images. This is the satellite image that I just downloaded. And this is the streets image. Now I'm going to select the streets. I'm going to go back to the editor and I'm going to click Control O. You can see that the streets are coming in. They're not coming in around this elevated area here. You control and page up, you can see these come in a little bit better. And once you're in the game, you can see that I've come up above the ground there. I'm going to bring these down to ground level. You can also change the transparency, etc. Now on the map, you can name your map here. I'm going to name it Montana Old Boar. You can add a description here. You can also set the starting year, the starting month, the starting time, etc. You can also set the thumbnail here. You can change the height scale and lower this down so that you don't have such a pronounced background. We're going to leave ours at 4096. That's what we had. You can see we have some water features here. Just wanted to show you how to get the custom map and your image overlays into your game so that you can start working. Another thing you want to do is to save your map. So come into map and we're going to save this map. You can also select the starting tiles, camera position, we want to select North American theme. We want to save the map. You can see that we're going to be saving this in here. We want to put the file name here and save the map. Now when you want to come back and work on the map, you're going to have to load it here.
And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching the old boar, and we'll see you in the next time. Take care now.